Oh shit, that was loud. Sorry. <laughs> Welcome back to Hidrashi. Last time we could beat the shit out of Tepe, but backup has arrived, so we're not out of the mess yet. Let's go right into this. <laughs> not the punts. <clears throat> I suddenly gasped and my whole body froze. Right before my eyes, the tote was being grabbed from behind with a man like by a man with lod light arms and she tensed up with a bewildered look on her face. Bro, why are you why are you grabbing up a child, man? Okay, they're actually is that like the a pedophile thing, or was that like a violence thing? Couldn't tell. You know who Rika is, and you're still beefing? One by one, three strong, uncouth men came out from the front door and greeted me with nasty smiles. One of them grabs a tote and wouldn't let her go, while the other two cracked their knuckles and moved in to surround me. Guys, she's like 10 years old chill no way no way he already invited his friends to his house but thinking it over for a moment it seemed perfectly natural considering what a nuisance he was in the village and his rampage while kidnapping satoto in the shopping district it's easy to assume he caught over a few like-minded good-for-nothings for self-defense it was my mistake for not accounting for that i regret acting so impulsively at the very least, I should have waited for Keiichi and the others before taking action. Uh-oh. I did my best to shield my head from a sudden kick from behind. Uh, I mean, it's, it's a serious thing, but just imagining this in my head. <laughs> it's just, like, kinda goofy. I took an intense kit to the side and was knocked away. I fell to the ground and the jolt of pain running through my entire body was almost enough to make me faint. God damn it. Does this guy not even realize his opponent is a child? Well, once Atlas Atlas comes. I mean, they're definitely just getting arrested, so that makes it easy at least. Is it a lack of common sense, or has nobody taught him a thing about morals? Probably both. I quietly cursed them as I stood up on shaky legs. Pain uh, coursed through my body, and my whole head was ringing. We need a hero. I think just hurting her is probably already like a not a death sentence, but the son of Zaki did not a gank your ass. Like, it's already GG. It's just dumb of them. I could vaguely hear Satoko crying out from behind, uh, out from behind the vulgar men's conversation. Having said that, this was a dangerous enough situation that my consciousness was already fading out and I almost lost it. Satoko, I'm sorry. Only after enduring this did I finally understand. I should have known what a dangerous situation you were in. Although for a moment, I tried to wait and see, watching for an opportunity. Even though it may have already been too late. Even though I can't reset time this time around, even if I regret my choices. How pathetic. Truly pathetic. I just looked away from the worst case scenario. I didn't confront it at all. Do you think I failed to understand that until I was in your position? Huh? <laughs> Is 
Satoko turned her tear-filled face this way when she heard my bloody cry. Then I slowly shook my head, trying my best to smile and comfort her. Right. Oops. She was still yapping. At last, I realized. It's not just the power of will that pulls us toward the best possible fate. It requires the effort to put those strong feelings into action. So, I won't run away anymore. I won't give up. I'm going to save Satoko. And in order to do that, I won't let these guys destroy our happiness. <laughs> I won't run away anymore. So lend me your strength, on you! Smite him with a giant cream puff from the sky. God. Keiichi! Ask and he shall cometh. Ooh. Her crash. Something came flying from behind Tepe at tremendous speed. He was completely caught off guard and couldn't avoid it, so he took a direct hit and was knocked away. That object that struck tape Tepe was a bicycle, and riding that bike was. I, th I honestly thought he like drop kicked him. <laughs> that works too, though. I was so elated that I leapt toward him, but my legs were in bad shape, so I fell into Keiichi's chest. And then tears came overflowing from all the pain and fear I kept locked away all this time. I brought the cavalry. Then Keiichi pulled me tighter into his chest while turning toward the trio that had captured Satoko. And just don't rough children in general. It's probably a good tip. <laughs> Who said I'm alone? I mean, true. <laughs> Very true. Totokumura, you heard him. The th three of them were trying to make threats, but when the situation turned around on them, they got angry. Then one of the men decided to take advantage of their superior numbers and lash out at Keiichi. <laughs> What? Actually getting overpowered by Keiichi? Very true. Damn, Keiichi's kinda... It's kinda... Of, it's kinda popping off! <laughs> you know, when I think of the physical powerhouses of uh, Hidarashi, Keiichi's name usually doesn't come up. It's like Akasaka, Rena, and Mion. Uh, good, good for him. Keiichi dodged the attacking man's lot like arms by a hair's breath, then slammed his elbow into the man's stomach in a surprise attack. The beautifully executed body, or 
the, the beautifully educated blow had his full body weight behind it. So the man screamed and became entangled with Keiji, causing them to both fall down. Madto's bad. Madto's bad. The man Tichi had attacked and Tepe, who had finally done him back up, both cowardly joined together with the others to surround Keiji. This is bad. If Keiji is being attacked from the front, back, left, and right all at once, there's no way he can resist. <laughs> Even using all my strength to help him, I couldn't even move my legs, let alone approach him. My frail little body is so disappointing at times like these. No. Before long, Kichi took a hit he couldn't avoid and his body curled up in pain. Where's the Calvary? Where's the battle? Then he took a kick from behind and Kichi finally collapsed to his knees. Seeing the terrible disadvantage Kichi was in, Satoko cried out and reached her hand out to him, but her body was being grabbed by the remaining man, so she couldn't do anything more than struggle. Isn't? Wait, hold on. Cause I, I thought the from this line, I thought uh, there's four guys gaining up on him, but I guess there's only three. And the, and the fourth guy is uh, still holding Satoto then. Satoko couldn't bear to watch anymore and cried out demanding surrender, Keiichi turned to her uh, with his eyes open wide and shouted back. Seeing Keiichi's understanding or unending courage and hearing his strong voice despite the danger of the situation caused Satoko to be taken aback. お前に救いを求められたからでもない。これ以上お前が傷つけられるのを見たくね。いつか救い出す。なんて自分を慰めたくもね。だから俺たちが自分で決めたんだ。お前をここで救い出すってな。ケンキさん。佐藤。耐え
The light that her eyes had lost until a moment ago had finally returned and it was shining bright. Letting his anger take control, Tepe mercilessly swung his arms at Satoko. But Satoko's greatest weapon were her small body and high agility, so she was able to dodge easily. Then taking advantage of Tepe losing his school, he quickly bent she quickly bent down and tackled his right leg the moment his center of gravity shifted away. Caught completely off guard, Tepe fell down on the spot. However, Satoko was also thrown off balance in the process and rolled to the ground along with him. <laughs> Tepe screamed in rage while swinging his fist. The fearful Satoko of a moment ago would have gone weak at the knees, but she was able to quickly dodge it. And when the center of gravity shifted away from the bottom of his feet for a moment, she grabbed one and tried to trip him. No. Tepe stumbled to the ground as Satoko looked down at him from above. Now their situation was completely reversed. Tepe rose to his feet once more and swung his arms and legs at Satoko over and over while screaming in a brutal, rage filled voice. But in the end, it was just a weakly putting on airs to try to intimidate someone smaller than him. That wanton display of power had no meaning before Satoko. His anger massively reduced the accuracy of his attacks, so she was able to quickly move behind, beyond his reach. And when they faced each other like this, Satoko was beginning to laugh at herself forever fearing a man of this caliber. Aw, oh, dot him with the oh ho ho. It's over, man. Satoko is literally Batman, man. She just needed to try. She can overcome anything. So what's with your chain? I never really realized it, but why? <laughs> the chain is way too big for you. See that shit? It's like going across his... Well, actually, I don't know. It's kind of a... I guess it kind of shows off how, how buff he is. Whoa! I mean, it's true. She did, but she did. She didn't know that. Can't just say that. Satoko completely froze up the moment she heard that. Oh no, that's the one thing that should never absolutely be said. She did eat them off the platform, but it wasn't her fault. Literally. <laughs> Damn, Tepe still had the nuke in his back pocket. I used every last ounce of my strength to rise to my feet and lunge towards Tepe, but my pathetically weak advance ended with me being thrust away and rolled to the ground near Satoko. And behind my battered body, Satoko was crouching, was crouched down, shivering and clutching her head. I endured the pain and desperately rushed over to Satoko to hug her. When I raised my head, I noticed Tepe's hideous form looking down at us. Where's the backup, man? Took you long enough. Just then, hey, it's my intro song. Totten, oh dear you. For a moment, I thought the voice I heard was a hallucination. No way. It can't be. It's completely unreasonable to expect that that he would come to a place like this. 
I heard Xion cry out and sensed her rushing over to my side uh, to embrace Satoko. But more importantly, I had to confirm that voice was still lingering in my ears, so I timidly looked up. And looking back at the direction, he was rushing toward me. It can't be. Can I really believe this? I can't let this be an illusion. As I knelt there, like that, he held me against his chest with his big arms to protect me. I always wanted to see you. You were the first person I turned to for help, and now you're finally here. You finally come at an end at a time like this. Yeah, don't worry, bro. We just got the ship beaten out of us. So did that. I cried out, then jumped into Akasata's chest and sobbed. And then he stood up, still holding, to protect me and spoke to Tepe in a dignified voice, even as the man's sweat soaked face was quaking in fear. Yeah, <laughs> this is just wild. What did they expect to happen, man? <laughs> On that cue, the policemen in the surrounding area all jumped in at once to seize the man. Their faces warped in shock and fear when they realized how quickly the situation had turned to their disadvantage. So, they desperately turned their backs and scrambled toward the force behind them. Come on, where's the perimeter? Many policemen went chasing after them, and before long they heard a few screams. Feeling relieved to see this whole situation unfold, all the pain I was holding back suddenly returned to me and I collapsed to the ground. <laughs> で、手を追わなくていいのですか。あ。それは大石さんたちの仕事。ですよね。うん。うん。うん。うん。赤坂さん。私のセリフを取らないでくださいよ。警視庁の人間に地元の犯罪者を逮捕する権限はないでしょう
Sorry, I just remembered I need to take my vitamin. But at the moment, and Satoko's still freaking out right now. It's the aftermath of the nuke. So hit her with the radiation. Shion's tense shout brought me back to my senses. While I looked, when I looked that way, Shion was supporting Satoko's head in her arms. Well, she muttered something over and over. She was trembling and shaking her head repeatedly with a vacant look in her eyes. on a little extra. It's only 25 minutes. No, oh, I'm breaking the good pacing. I guess I technically broke it last episode. Oh, tips! Perfect! Keeping the break good good pacing. This has to be a Tepe tip. What happened to Tepe? Ha! <sighs> I imagine he stumbles into the fucking mountain dodge too and just dies. Oh man. I finally stopped where I can no longer hear the footsteps and angry shouts of the police. My whole body was already drenched in sweat. And not just my feet, but all the muscles in my entire body was trembling. Not only that, but my legs were as hot as a raging fire. They felt like they were about to burst. Shit, I felt dizzy. I'd already known, or I'd already thrown up while on the run earlier, but a lump of air welled up in my throat like I was, like I sat more to vomit. I felt like total crap. My pants and other clothes looked absolutely miserable, caked with mud, sweat, and vomit. You saw it? The Tepe Downfall song? That would sound so messy. Things ended up like this because of that pest. She can't do anything worth a damn. Yet she caught up some annoying punt, defied me, and even got the police involved. Yeah, that was all her, right? I'm sure they already told the police about the drugs. I even kept it hidden from Ritsuko until now, but it all fell apart thanks to that bitch. Yeah, like, like with, uh, um, Renu. Uh, even though this is the good ending, not for the bad guys. Unlucky. I was able to get by before with no evidence of violence or extortion, but this drug is different. I'll definitely get thrown in jail for two or three years. Okay, that's actually not as bad as I thought. I thought it was longer in Japan. I guess it depends what the drug is. <laughs> oh my, I was memeing! I was memeing! Talk to know the Grim Reaper just taking out all the trash people. Holy shit. I mean, I can imagine Tatano not liking Tepe just because, like, He's, techni he's technically interfering with her research by keeping one of her uh, test subjects away from her. But let's go! The, the true goat. My queen. I heard a cold voice coming from behind and quickly turned around. There stood a woman with a dry smile on her face. This chick. Yes, that's right. She's the nurse from the Eerie Clinic. <laughs> What are you trying to do, Tepe? Don't even try. Okay. <laughs> Low-born man. It's a crazy insult. <laughs> What's with this woman? 
Even though I was standing in front of her holding a huge knife, she didn't <laughs> she didn't budge. In fact, her icy smile seemed to get even colder as she carefully stared at me with her eyes open wide, walking up to me in a slow motion like she was taking a barefoot stroll. Yes, like the carnivore peeling its peeling back its feints and stretching out its nails. A cruel, menacing atmosphere seemed to leak from her entire body. Am I being threatened? We call that aura? Is <laughs> that really how you threaten with your knife? Don't get close to me or I'll stab you in the eye. <laughs> yeah. You goofy. Lowborn man. Oh. Rip. Did they? What if they hear that though? It's kind of loud. あなたの目の中に入るかもね。ああ。ジーズス。もう終わり。ただの学者劇なのに勝手に気絶しちゃって。She <笑> A couple minutes ago, I, I paused because I'm like, that's not her name, but I'm just gonna roll with it. Lakuにはしなせてあげないわよ. Oh. Yukainakotomoidasasiyagatte. Oh, that's true, I guess. That's another reason to hate him. She, she, she is not a fan of child abuse. And I guess I mean child abuse that doesn't include researching. <laughs> She is not a fan of that from the good old orphanage days. Ba absolutely base talk, you know? How can you hate her, bro? She killed Rina and Tepe in one arc. She's going crazy, man. Anyways, that's it. The end of Tepe. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Next time. All the side quests are done, I think. So, it's time to unite and plan on beating Tatano, so that should be exciting. With all the boys here. Still waiting to see if uh, any of the characters from the console art show up. Natsumi might come for the Watanagashi with that crew. And you know, Tomoe's just there, probably. Because she, she's police. Now I got hiccups, but then I got it at the end of the recording. So yeah, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Later.